So I enrolled in Carolina in 1998, and I was originally a math major pre-med. Played a lot of intramural sports and really enjoyed with our friends going on road trips, especially to Carolina football games. Uh, and so we have uh, have a lot of memorable times traveling to really every SEC school while we were in college. I enrolled at the Honors College and really was on that track to go to medical school. I'd always had a desire to be in the health sciences, but more specifically to teach in the health sciences. Okay, before we get started, we are gonna have an in-class assessment. But teaching, it's interesting. It's, it's something that in this role, um, there's no monotony and you can come and wake up every morning and enjoy what you're doing. Um, the students there are ready to, to soak in any knowledge that you can share with them. Um, I think the most excitement I get is where I see the transition of a student during our program. Someone who comes in very anxious, uncertain of, of themselves, of their professional direction. They've now accepted ideas, they've soaked them in, they've decided on a career pathway and you feel that you've had, had a part in and role in that. So we've had a number of our students who have gone on to postgraduate careers, uh, successful careers in community pharmacy, and successful careers uh, even now as academicians themselves. Uh, I think that's quite rewarding for me uh, and something that I feel blessed to be able to do. Um, I'm a full-time faculty member at the university but also maintain a practice site in infectious diseases at Palmetto Health. So following my pharmacy school training here at, at USC, I went to Wake Forest and completed two years of postgraduate residency training. So similar to the medical model, pharmacists can per, pursue residency training and I specialized at Wake Forest in infectious diseases, which prepared me really for a career uh, both in academia and as a clinical pharmacist. Uh, what that means in infectious diseases, yes, you may think all of the uh, exciting uh, tropical diseases uh, and things that are heavy in the news right now, including Ebola, dengue fever, and other things. But it's much more than that. It is integrating antimicrobial stewardship, where we're trying to be stewards of our antibiotics, using them appropriately, managing these really multi-drug resistant bacteria that are out there, and helping a patient in that continuity of care, and whether we can ensure that they're receiving the right medication, the right antibiotic in this case, for the right duration at the right dose. And I think that this is a little bit of validation of a lot of the time and effort that not only myself, but my wife, uh, my family, my colleagues here, students, uh, w without an incredible team. So this really isn't a, an I award. This is really more of an award celebrating all of their accomplishments. And I really hope to share that uh, with the College of Pharmacy um, and, and more importantly with uh, with my family and my wife.